Example 14. Replace the force and couple system shown in the figure by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at point O. Okay, so by now we can really see or we can really deduce that the use of the principle of moment or the Bergman's theorem is indeed very convenient as, as compared to uh, using the original definition of moment, which is force times the perpendicular distance. And, and by saying that, we will resolve our forces into its x and y component. So for our 3 kilonewton, this is its, let us call that f sub 1 y. Let us have this as equal to f sub 1. These are just a variable to denote that 3 kilonewton is our first force that we're considering. And then this is its f sub 1x. Okay. Now for our 5 kilonewton, we will let that as our second force. So it has a, its x component goes to the right. And its y component goes down. Okay, since we are tasked to find not just the moment that acts at point O, we're also tasked to find for the equivalent resultant force. So we will utilize the knowledge that we have gathered or we have obtained uh, in finding the resultant of our force. We had equilibrium of a particle already and also in force vectors. So the first thing that we're going to do is we do some uh, find the resultant force. So resultant force. So X component. We start by summing that the x com uh, the x component that the x component of our resultant force is equal to the sum of all the forces in the x direction. So this is equal to, we have f sub 1 assuming to the right positive. So we have f sub 1 x plus, plus f sub 2 x and we substitute their values. F sub 1 is 3, and the x component is cosine 30 degrees. So that is 3 cosine 30 degrees plus the x component of our uh, second force is 5 times 3 fifths. 5 times 3 fifths. This is equal to uh, 3 cosine 30, that's 2.59 plus three, uh, 5 times 3 fifths is 3. So that is 5 5.59807 and the unit is in kilonewton. This is F sub R, X component. Okay, we then solve for the, ah, that the Y component of our force is equal to the sum of all the uh, forces in the Y direction, assuming upward positive. So this is equal to uh, the only y component that is going up is f sub 1 y so that is uh, f sub 1 y minus f sub 2 y minus our third force which is 4 we substitute our values f sub 1 y that is 3 sine 30 3 sine 30 
minus our y component of f sub 2. That's 5 times 4 fifths. 5 times 4 fifths minus 4. So our f sub r y is equal to 3 sine 30. That's 1.5. Minus 4, minus 4, right? Because 5 times 4 fifths, that's 4. That's negative 6.5 kilonewton. Or we can rewrite this one as F sub R Y, 6.5 kilonewton going down. Okay, so find the resultant would be F sub r is equal to the square root of f sub r x squared plus f sub r y squared and we substitute all the values so that is square root of 5.59807 squared plus 6.5 so of course although i use the positive but make sure we stay consistent that the direction now of our f sub r y is going down okay so f sub r is equal to 5.59807 6211 squared plus 6.5 6.5 squared and then you take the square root so our answer is 8.578371481 kilo newton this is its magnitude all right let me label this one magnitude of f sub r so the to find for the direction direction of f sub r so that is theta is equal to inverse tangent f sub r y over f sub r x and our values, we substitute our values, F sub, I will start with F sub Rx because it has a much bigger value in terms of size, 5.59, uh, 59, 211 then our sub ry is 6.5 so again although i am using positive 6.5 but we know for a fact that our y component of our resultant force is going down so theta is equal to 6.5 divided by 5.598076211 inverse tangent is equal to 49.26357 degrees going down to the right. So for better representation, if this is our x, y axis, y, then x, this is the direction of our resultant force. This is our theta because f sub r is going down and to the right is our f sub r x. Now that is our resultant force. Now we are also tasked to find for the equivalent moment about point O due to the applied force F sub 1, F sub 2, and our 4 kilonewton. 
So our moment resultant moment. Call that M R. Okay. Moment M sub R R. This is R. R assuming counterclockwise positive is equal to all the moments, sum, the sum of all moments about point O. So this is equal to, uh, we have, if we can observe, this our F sub 1Y follows a counterclockwise rotation, 4 kilonewton clockwise. F sub 1X is clockwise. 2X is counter and F sub 2Y is clockwise, right? Okay, just have to use our uh, right-hand rule for these uh, forces. So we start with the forces that will be positive, meaning it follows our assumption that is counterclockwise positive. So that is F sub 1Y, F, sub 1y times its perpendicular distance, which is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 plus our f sub 2x. Its perpendicular distance, you can observe going down from point. Uh, this is our point O, right? Then going down, that is our f sub 2x, right, which is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, next, so minus, the remaining forces would be minus because it follows, again, a clockwise moment about point O, so we have 4 kilonewton, and uh, we start with f sub 1x, which is 0 0.1 as well, f sub 1x times 0 0.1 minus f sub 2y 2y is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 okay so 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus our 4 kilonewton which is at 0 0.2 from our point O. 0 0.2. Okay, so we substitute the values. F sub 1y, that is 3 sine 30. 3 sine 30 degrees times 0 0.2 plus our f sub 2x that is 5 times 3 fifths so that is 5 times 3 fifths times 0 0.1 minus f sub 1x so if f sub 1y is 3 sine 30 then f sub 1x is 3 cosine 30 degrees times 0 0.1 minus our f sub 2y it, this is 5 times 4 fifths close times 0 0.5 minus our 4 times 0 0.2 Okay, so we will solve them individually. 3 sine 30, that's 1.5 times 0 0.2. That's 0 0.3. Plus 5, five times 3 fifths, that's 3. Right? 3 times 0 0.1, that's 0 0.3. Next, minus... 3 cos sine 30 is around 2.59, 2.598, and so on, times 0 0.1, which gives us 0 
0.807621 and then minus 4 times 0 0.5 that's 2 minus 4 times 0 0.2 that's 0 0.8 so this is equal to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 Minus 0 0.25980761 minus 2 minus 0 0.8 should give us negative 2.459807621 and the, our unit is in Kilo Newton meter. Kilo Newton meter. And we write our answer in its correct sense. So that's 2.4598 Kilo Newton meter. And that is clockwise. So we have result. Uh, we have found the uh, equivalent resultant force and our coupled moment acting at point O.